with increasing amounts of wood being harvested on steep hills around New Zealand. Demand for haulers and swing yarders has certainly picked up, and we're going to need more in the next 10 years. But sourcing them is not that easy. Active equipment has been successful in refurbishing the old machines and giving them a new lease of life. However, the supply of good, used ones is drying up. So they've turned to building them from scratch, creating a range which includes a 50, 60 and 70 foot models under the active brand name. And it just so happens that Mike Mackay and Dave Olson were in the market for a bigger tower to replace their old 50 foot Medill 071 to give them more capacity for harvesting on the wide variety of country of the Napier Taupo Highway. They recently took delivery of the first active 70, equipped with an expanded tower that can move from 50 to 70 foot, providing the extra height when they need more deflection. Loosely based on the Medill 172, their new active 70 does make use of a few donor parts, such as a recycled tower and drum set from a wrecked hauler as well as a rebuilt and lengthened track base from a burnt out Hyundai R290 excavator. But everything else is brand new and it feels and acts like a brand new machine. As our iron test team discovered when we caught up with the Mackay and Olsen crew, logging not far from the cafe near the highest point of the highway. The operator sits in a spacious cab, designed and built by active equipment, featuring floor to ceiling reinforced glass on all sides, which provides amazing views in every direction. Don't bother looking for levers to control the ropes and clutches. There aren't any. You've got a pair of excavator style hand controls to work many of the functions, plus a bank of switches on a panel to the left. Pretty simple and very easy to use. Information is simplified too. Dials and gauges are all vertically mounted on the left front pillar. And there is a computer screen on the right, giving the operator graphic details of the weight and position of the load as well as the rope setup. The system also developed by active equipment will also tell the operator precisely where the breakouts are situated on the hill once the software is installed. You've got to love the power of the Detroit 60, a great workhorse. But one thing that is different in this machine is the way the power is transmitted to the drum. It's air powered, not hydraulic. Frankly, we couldn't tell the difference. It responds well, although there is a small issue with the sky brakes, which was fixed soon after our test. The Bowman motorised carriage takes a lot of the effort out of pulling the trees from the difficult locations. And when the crew shifts to a forest with bigger wood, it should really pay for itself. The best thing is that Mike and his crew can crack on with harvesting to capacity because they have a reliable and productive hauler that isn't in need of constant attention.